What's going on, football fans? Welcome back to another episode of Breaking the Birds. Another week, another stupid performance by Jalen Carter. And it gets better every week. And you just see how teams are more and more focused on double-teaming him and always being aware of where he is, which, as a rookie defensive tackle, is probably the biggest testament to how good of a player you are. Let's just go through some of the plays here where he gets double-teamed. First up here, he's lined up right across from the center in that zero technique getting ga engaged here both by the center and the right guard. Now he's going to swim across from the center immediately. The center is going to keep a little bit of a hold on him as he is engaging here with the right tackle. Boom, swipe across from him to begin with, and then deliver the power into the guard there. And what is what is astounding about this is, is how he still manages to collapse some of the pocket despite being double teamed on a play like this. Look, he's right, right, right there. You see, getting held still by the guard. Uh, excuse me, by the center who's right there and behind him. Yes, he's, he's getting up. So his ability to to swim across from a player with power is really what sets him apart. Something that Jason Kelsey was also talking about when discussing on his podcast of how why Jalen Carter is so good and why he is so difficult to block is that ability to both win with speed and power and really transferring his power into speed in his rushes again right here in the four technique right across from the right tackle going to go up against the right guard at the center once again here he's the f ferociousness that he's hitting this gap here with look how he's quickly putting all of his energy into the right guard and then swimming across from him utilizing the momentum going going inwards bang swim and then collapse the pocket up the middle it's a quick pass Good thing that it is, otherwise got to get a lot of pressure in there. Here, in two eye techniques, so right inside of the of the right guard. Once again, the same two. This is in the in the, in the last uh, last part of the game here, where Hassan Reddick gets a sack. You just notice how he's gonna like how he moves back both of these guys and collapse the interior of the pocket. If that, Hassan Reddick doesn't get that sack. Jalen Carter's right there. Here again. Three technique. Stupid athleticism to be able to spin across in the guard like that. He gets into the center, delivers some power into him. Tries to tries to uh, to to spin across from that as well. Gets held a little bit there at the end. They're not gonna call it. They never do. But just the sheer athleticism that is on display here in working against these double teams and the variety of ways that he's working against the double teams. Strength, speed, swim, spin. You see a little bit of everything. Two eye again here. First working up against the center. Nice moves as he's coming across here. You see that spin move? He's initially, all of his momentum is going to be taken away to begin with here by both of them guys. And then still finds the uh, the energy to pull off that spin move. Right here, right after his sack, destroys this double team. Swims across the center, delivers power into the right guard, totally displays him, gets held as he's still trying to get to to uh, to, to uh, Stafford. So he's getting held by that left arm all the way and across. Yeah. When they don't double team him, this is what happens. Clear sack as it's coming across there. This the the speed and explosiveness as it's going inside here is absolutely insane. Gets his second sack of the day on that play. Here, four technique right across from the right tackle. Nice inside move there. Doesn't work. All right, then you go to the counter. Counter move, goes inside, whoop, dis displaces the right guard. Stafford tries to skip with the pocket. I'd like him to wrap up a little bit more here. Uh, That's the one thing you can nick him for here. Wrap up, kind of slips there with his outside foot, still gets the sack. Gets the sack credit on it. Here, in three technique, really quick swim across here. Explosive, comes inside and makes the tackle here in the running game. <coughs> Stays in balance. Good play. Here. Coming up three technique again. Really good effort. 
is coming out. This play is going away from him. Initially in a terrible spot. Gets out of it. Chases down the uh, bulk area and is right there to make the tackle. So speed, explosiveness, moves, effort. Displays it all in the running game and passing game. It's He's one of the best defensive tackles, if not the best defensive tackle in the league, and it's been five weeks.